Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Mr. Deadly Shoes. We shall now continue into uh, question number 24 of the paper 1 uh, Advanced Mathematics Students uh, uh, year 2010, the paper 2010 paper 1. Now, for the information of everyone, uh, starting on the uh, uh, 18th to the 22nd of October 2021, uh, the grade 12 students in the country Papua New Guinea will be sitting for their national examination and so I wish them all the best in their national examination now I hope that this is not too late yet so I am continuing in this uh, video tutorial the uh, question number 24 and number 25 paper one of the advanced uh, mathematics stream students so this is all for you and I hope that this will help. I know that your paper too will be on Friday. And I hope that uh, I will have time to uh, present the paper too. I was so really uh, busy in the past week. So that's why I was not able to present the uh, video tutorial. Anyway, let me continue now this time. So we have done the question number 23 on finding the area of the uh, field. So let us continue at this time. You see, it's still... Uh, <clears throat> it's really dry, so dry now because uh, it's been a while that uh, I haven't uh, used this whiteboard for our uh, uh, video tutorial presentation. But uh, today uh, <clears throat> I am presenting the question number 24 and finally the last one is the question number 25 of paper 1 for the advanced uh, <clears throat> mathematics uh, uh, students who are going to be sitting in their national exam but the students also around the world if you are now onto the a grade 12 so you can actually uh, <clears throat> uh, have a look at this uh, video tutorial and you can compare at the same time uh, you will learn also from this uh, uh, presentation <clears throat> now what would be the question number 24 what topic would be the question number 24 for the advanced uh, mathematics students? Question number 24. So this is the question. <clears throat> question number 24, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. Looks like I have a... I just uh, finished drinking a uh, uh, fresh juice. Okay, made up of uh, orange and... Uh, apple and carrots okay anyway so this is the uh, question number 24 differentiate the function f of x is equal to 2x square minus x minus 1 from first principles so you are this is on the topic of differential uh, calculus and you are going to uh, differentiate this uh, given function f of x uh, using the uh, first principles okay so the formula for the uh, first principles is going to be given in the formula sheet, so uh, it, should, uh, it should be okay for you to work it out. So the best thing here is for you to learn on how to gain the full marks and be able to get the uh, uh, correct answer in differentiating this uh, given function here uh, using or, or from the first principles. Okay, that's the one. So this is calculus, differential calculus. Let me now present to you so if where, wherever you are in the world if you are uh, taking a differential calculus and you have encountered or you are being uh, presented with the uh, use of the first principles this is just very easy for you to uh, differentiate the functions so the first thing that you should do is to rewrite the given function so we have the given function <coughs> f of x is equal to 2x square <clears throat> minus x minus 1 from uh, first principles. So you will use the first principles. So the formula for uh, the first principles is we have the f prime of x. So it means that this is now differentiation. Differentiation or differentiate. f of x is we have limit as h up uh, limit limit uh, f of x plus h okay 
minus the function f of x divided by h as h approaches 0. So, this is the function that you, <clears throat> that you will use when it comes to the uh, first principle. So, you will be using the uh, first principles. Differentiate, okay, first principles. So, you are going to differentiate, okay, differentiate this given function f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 1. And this is the uh, first principle, f prime of x is equal to uh, limit f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h approaches 0. So you will now substitute these values here. You continue rewriting limit, okay? And uh, this one now is going to be uh, written as 2 <coughs> uh, open uh, x. Uh, this one is the x square, so you will have to rewrite x uh, square x, uh, x plus h, okay, x plus h square. And then minus x, so minus x plus h, and then minus 1 is a constant. This uh, entire of this uh, uh, expression, you will now re uh, re uh, rewriting this. And then minus, minus the original function of x, which is this uh, f of x, and that would be I am using a brackets here because of the minus sign operation. So minus f of x, so that would be 2x squared minus x minus 1 all over uh, h as h approaches 0. Okay, so now you will have to simplify this. Limit uh, 2 open. So you are going to multiply x plus h by itself two times because x plus h expression is raised to the power of 2. So you will have to get the square of x and that is x square and then x, uh, uh, one, uh, x plus h times 2. This is my technique when I am multiplying a binomial. x plus h times 2 is equal to 2xh. And then positive h to the power of 2, so that we positive h square, close bracket. And then this one becomes negative uh, a, uh, 1. This is understood to have a coefficient of 1. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times uh, uh, positive h is uh, negative h. And then minus... And then this one also is understood to have a coefficient of 1 outside. So negative 1 times 2x which is uh, 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 1 times negative x is positive x. Negative 1 times uh, negative 1 is positive 1. All over h as h approaches 0. Do we still have space underneath? Okay, let's check. <clears throat> so limit, limit, okay, uh, it's not clear anymore. So we have to go to the other side. So from here, let's now have this point here. So we have equals limit uh, uh, this one. You're now going to simplify this by removing the brackets. So 2 times x squared is equal to 2x uh, squared, 2x squared, 2x squared plus 2 times 2xh is 4xh. And then 2 times uh, h squared is positive 2h squared. And then minus x minus h and then where's the 
one here. Oh, there's another one here. So this is the common mistake that I used to do. So I have to rewrite this one. Minus x minus h. And then don't forget this one also. Minus 1 and then minus 2x squared. Okay, so we have minus 1, this one, minus 2x squared plus x plus 1 divided by h as h approaches 0. So in this case now you can uh, cancel, uh, collect like terms. So when you collect like terms, this 2x squared and negative 2x squared are like terms and that is equal to 0. That's cancel. And then we have also negative x and positive x. That's also cancel there. And then we have also negative 1 and positive 1. That's also cancel there. So now you are left with uh, 4xh plus 2h squared minus h. Okay? So that would be now the, uh, <clears throat> the expression all over h. So now we have to rewrite limit at uh, 4xh plus 2h squared minus h as h approach uh, all over h as h approaches 0. So let's come now to this side. We can now simplify this. So we have uh, 4, uh, 4x, uh, 4xh plus 2h squared minus h all over h uh, as h approaches 0. So we can actually uh, simplify this one. This is what will happen. If you notice in our numerator, h, h, h is common. And then in order for us to... Uh, uh, cancel h or eliminate h in the denominator, we can actually simplify this one as h outside, open, 4x plus 2h minus 1 all over h. So this is limit as h approaches 0. So you cancel that h, cancel that h. So now the final, uh, the, not the final answer yet, is you have that limit uh, 4x plus 2h minus 1 as h approaches 0. Now, in this case, you are not going to uh, substitute h here equals 0. Remember that in calculus as, as h approaches 0. So that means to say that your final answer now is going to be the f of x f prime of x is equal to 4x minus 1 so this one is not going to be substituted with 0 h is equal to 0 because our limit is as h approaches 0 so then that's automatic we have now the uh, the the derivative of uh, of the given function 2x squared minus x minus 1 uh, using the first principles is equal to 4x minus 1. So this is now our final and correct answer. This is going to be 3 marks. So when you present your work like this, okay, in this uh, proper way, uh, correct way, then you will gain the full marks. Now you cannot just present this final answer for x minus 1 because you have to follow the uh, rewriting of the formula of the uh, first principles and then substituting that one carefully and then after that you simplify the given expression and as h approaches zero again do not substitute this one h is equal to zero you just have to get the derivative of it by, by uh, saying that the f prime of x is equal to 4x minus 1 okay so that is uh, that is our uh, uh, question number 24 this is our question number uh, 24 on uh, differentiating the given function of x which is equal to 2x minus x minus 1 from the first principles. Now the first principles, this is our formula for the uh, first principles and when you are asked to uh, use the first principles, 
This is what you are going to do when you are going to differentiate a given function. And that is the formula. Uh, for the grade 12 who are sitting for their national examination, this formula is already been uh, provided. All you need to do is to substitute it carefully, limit up to you, gain, you get the uh, differentiation of the uh, given function if uh, f prime of x is equal to 4x minus 1. Okay, so I hope that it's clear for you for the question number 24 on differentiation. And I know that you have already practiced it. All you need to do is to watch this video. Wherever you are in the world, if you are now in the topic of differential calculus and you encounter this kind of question using the first principles of differentiating the uh, given function, uh, you can uh, have a look at this. And comment below uh, if you have understood this one clearly. And also um, uh, like this video and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel so that you will be uh, update, up, uh, updated whenever I upload a video. Especially you have to press the bell button and you have to press all so that uh, you will always uh, be connected with me. Okay, so this is Mr. Delicious. Now I wish all the best to all the grade 12 students who are going to be sitting in their national examination from the uh, 18th to the 22nd of uh, October 2021. All the best, uh, grade 12 in Papua New Guinea. And I know that you are going to do well because you have worked so hard for the past two years. And please take care of yourself out there, wherever you are in the world. Always wear your face mask and sanitize yourself. And always follow the COVID-19 protocols. Okay, so this is Mr. Deadly Shoes. I am here for you when it comes to mathematics. And I hope that I would be able to help you in this platform. I know that this is just very, very, very simple. And this is my outreach uh, program for to help the students around the world, especially during this time of the global pandemic. Okay, so goodbye. And this is question number 24. Bye for now and take care.